Site visits are one of the most memorable and key moments of a project because therein we gather all the information about the site, around the site, within and without the project area. And then when we have gathered so much information and we feel saturated, we begin to take selfies. <laughs> Wait, what? You're serious? Oh yes, bro, for whatever reason. And here's my favorite part, enjoying Mother Nature's providence of food. Oh boy, I definitely need one of those. Relax, relax, buddy. Why don't you wait to the end of the video and I'll give you all something to eat. Okay, cool. Okay, my bad. When all is said and done, later along in the project, we must have a location plan. Hmm, pretty easy. Because I went to site, remember? And I had a great time too. And now I begin to sketch. So, we were on the main road. And we met a petrol station right here. We turned right. And there was some weird house right there. And turned left. And there was some construction going on along here. And then we turned right again. And turned left again. And then turned right again. And then... Oh my god. I can't remember. Oh no! Oh, no, no. Alright then, what if I told you that we could solve this dilemma and then also we could get better results for the location plan. My name is Namara Alan and welcome to Naletech Studio. If you are new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe below, hit the like button and let's get started on this video. So after you have taken just about enough selfies and you are tired of them while on site, uh, before you finish the battery, I would like you to choose another app apart from the camera and that will be Google Maps and I do hope that you have it installed. And when you first open it, it will take you exactly where you are. I'm going to search for a site real quick here for demonstration. So once you are on site, you want to zoom in to exactly where your site is. So for now, for my example, I have selected a point here and you want to long press, which means that you have dropped a pin on the site. So once you have dropped this pin, there are options that come here for the direction because it has generated the coordinates for that point but then when you scroll here where you have this there is an option for sharing so you have to select that and then you can choose where to send it you can send it to one of your whatsapp contacts or anywhere else but for the sake of my demonstration we are going to choose gmail or google mail so maybe I can call this site case study and I say send. When you open your email, you can see when I do open, I see a, a pin has been dropped. And this is all you need because right now let's try and open that. You can see that uh, this is all you actually need to do in order to retrieve the place or the site. So right now we want to prepare a location plan. So what do we do in order to prepare a written ACCICAD? So let's uh, first collapse here. And I know that this is the site. And basically what you want to do is to create, to include as much region as possible such that someone can get the contextual feel of the site. So... The site is around right there, but I need to have as much landmarks around me as possible. So for now, I'll choose uh, a scale of 200 meters. If you look to the bottom right, you can see there the scale of two, 
of one to 200 meters. So let me now take a screenshot. I'll just type in, 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 in the search menu, sniping tool, and there it is. So I'll say new, and you will have this white thing. And in this now, when I click somewhere and drag around, you can see that I have all that uh, selected. So this is all you have to do. And once you're happy with that area, you can click OK. So I will go ahead and save this, OK? And then I will say OK. So that's basically it. Meanwhile, I think I can be taking some of this. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, what did I tell you about? I thought I told you to wait at the end of the video. I mean, we, we're barely halfway through the video. Ah. Uh. Huh. So let's take another example of a project which is in the village which is uh, deep down there and this is my site all i have to do is long press then i scroll here and share with my gmail i just say dropped pin at village site and i will send it to my mail okay then i say okay so when i go back to my inbox I can see it's already here at village site. I can follow the link and it will load in a bit. And here is my site. So for a village site, we want to just collapse that. And when my site is here, you can see that I need more con much more context because we're already in 200, but I cannot see the context for it yeah so it's something like that you can see that now i can get the town right there when i'm at 500 meters so like we did before i say snip i snipe using the sniping tool and say new and then i click on the first point drag across the screen while holding down the mouse and make sure that you include the scale in your selection right there 500 meters and say okay so from there we can save this as a village project so once you have those images downloaded from google maps all you have to do is to import them into archicad so let's work with this image right here we will drag and drop it as simple as that we are going to scale this because obviously it's going to be not scaled you want to use this bottom corner here rescaling has an icon here or you can see the shortcut right there which is ctrl k so you want to say ctrl k to rescale and say okay and then zoom in to get a precise locations I'm choosing the midpoint here, holding down shift, choose another point right there. And now we can make that 200 meters, which is 200,000 millimeters. And this is pretty good. So right now what we have here is a scaled image of what would be. So the very first thing that you want to do with this is to locate your site. So my site is right here. So using uh, Archicad's drafting tools, which are these right here, I want to use a fill. So for now, let me use a foreground and make it red for your visibility. And maybe a black border will work. So let me mark out the site. So my site is right here. 
if you have the surveyor's information, it is much better to interpose it right here such that uh, it's as accurate as could be. So for now, I'm going to just put in a rough sketch of the site. So that's my site. Once we have the site, which is uh, almost in the center of this, we want to begin to direct someone to the site. So we can begin with the spline tool so you want to go to more here and select the spline and this time let's also use a red one and just click around the one of the sides of the roads and this is how the spline tool does work you just kind of zoom in to keep these uh, lines as perfect as you can. So, now once we have done that road, which is our main road, we can duplicate that and then we offset it to align it around there. You can see our road is about 20 meters apart, about 15, 15 meters apart. So there you have it. So that's what, what you need to do. For that, let's do one more example. Just get this one. So for example, I think this drawing is going to be beautifully within this area. So I can begin from right here and begin to map out this this road do that once more and it doesn't have to be precise but the more precise you make it is the more realistic your location plan is going to look like which you would want if you wanted uh, to make this a uh, better drawing. So let's uh, duplicate that with Ctrl D and offset it. This is around there. And that looks good. So where the rods meet, you want to Ctrl click to remove some of this and just have a seamless road. So for now already, you can see the site location is already taking shape. One more thing that I'd like to show you is putting in the forms. So one way is you could decide to use a polyline, which will give you empty or the other. You could use a fill, depending on what you want. So if you wanted to give buildings a fill, you might want to use the fill tool and uh, choose uh, any color depending on the, uh, the use of the building. So for commercial, I might want to use <coughs> blue <coughs> according to the standard. I don't know what the standard is in your country, but that's what you would like to do. And you begin to put in these uh, these buildings. Mm. So the more of these you put in, the better your drawing is going to actually look like. And if you don't want to fill them or just you just want to give a basic form, you can as well just use a, a, a line. Just find like a building and just draw over it like that simple as that and all over so like this and you can control click to remove those so you can draw all over right there and then obviously you are going to need the words which needless mention you all you need is to just type in the name of those places just 
And obviously, <clears throat> the scale of my texts is so small. I can now, if you can see that it is way too small, so you can increase it until your words begin to show. So let me make it red so you can see it. So right there. So that's all you need really and you can be able to come up with this drawing. So once you're happy with your entries, you want to remove this reference image from Google. Yeah. And really the key here is to have as many landmarks as possible uh, around the site so someone can approach the site from different different directions so really what makes uh, some location plans very terrible is because they do not reflect such important information uh, some of them are too simplistic and others are too detailed so you just want to put uh, enough information to locate your site appropriately. And that's it guys. So finally we are here and it is well deserved. So you can have it now. Thanks for sticking around though. Oh boy, I'm subscribing today. For what? For my videos or for the fruit? For all of that. Hmm. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you up in the next one. Bye.